Good morning, Noon or Night. My name is Jet, and welcome to my channel, JITV Jet in the Valley. So this is going to be a quick one about how we all collectively need to stop being shocked by evil. Okay, people are, every time something evil happens, people are so shocked. Like, oh, I can't believe that would happen. I can't believe that would happen. It's like, how many examples are there throughout all of history that there is good and there is evil here. Okay, we have to stop being shocked by the evil because we're not dealing with it. And by not and by being shocked at it, it means we don't even know it's here, that we're surprised that it sneak attacked us. Okay, we need to start becoming wise as serpents and understanding that there is evil here and understanding that's the whole gist of earth. There's good and there's evil, the knowledge of good and evil. We cannot continue to be shocked by evil like we, we had no idea. We have to seek wisdom, seek the wisdom, knowledge, and discernment and understand and start to figure out where this stuff is coming from. We think that evil is in another country or even evil's just in the military or the governments or it's just in um, that church leader or this person or the other and totally dismiss and not even recognize that it's inside of each of us that is the the that is how it's sneak attacking us because it's very easy for humans to think they're evil and they're evil and they have this capability and you have and I don't I'm not evil I'm a good person I don't have the capability of this that or the other when everybody in a body we're in a fallen, less than perfect condition. Everybody in a body is, is capable of good and bad. And there's things where it says you're literally three decisions away, three bad decisions away from doing things that you don't, you won't even speak, that you can't even imagine. It's not that hard to put yourself in someone else's shoes who say killed their family or did these different things that are absolutely evil and figure out by putting yourself in their shoes how they got to that spot okay by doing that and understanding you're you're, under, you're learning you're acknowledging and you're like oh okay well I guess you know I could be capable of that right then on the other hand some people are capable that humans and they think that humans are all bad that there's there's no chance for human and mankind is in the fallen less than perfect condition and it's always going to be this way and there's nothing that we can do about it but that's not true and there is something that you can do about it but the thing you don't want to do about it is ignore and create this toxic positivity within yourself where you will only talk about and you can only handle the good we are here to, we have to be able to acknowledge and handle and understand and assist and help the good and the evil. We have to understand all of it. We have to become, uh, to be capable and responsible, response, have the ability to respond. We have to figure out how to deal with all things, our thoughts, feelings, actions, and emotions. And one of the ways to do that is to use Jesus as an example. See what he did. Every single thing he did in every situation that he ever did was the correct loving thing to do. Even when he fastened a whip, okay, and he ran the people out. Uh, the money changers ran the people out, right? That's not very positive, okay? It's, it's what was right and it's what was actually loving because there is good and evil here. We acknowledge that there's good and there is evil. It's not in, I mean, necessarily, it's not in this group, in this group, or this government, in this government. It is 100% certain inside of us. That's the whole reason it says that you must be born again. You, have, you must be born of water, which means you're a human. You came here through your mother, and you must be born of, of the Spirit, and the Spirit is of Jesus Christ, and he is the um, the solution to all the problems and once you accept that and once you see that and you get the discernment to understand that yes that was God in the body and Jesus Christ is the is the the solution you understand that it's the right thing he always did the right thing 
and um, you want to be like that. You want to be able to handle these brutal circumstances, right, and not be contaminated and not be tormented. It says through Christ you can do all things, okay? People don't, and if you understand that and you know that, you're not relying on your own self to do these things, okay? You're understanding that God is going to do it through you. You listen, you keep the lines of communication open, you accept it, you reject uh, your mind and body when they try to tell you to do things that are that are literally anti-love that go against anything God would say because it's the nature of our mind and our body. I feel like I've covered that pretty extensively, how our mind and our body are in this fallen, less than perfect condition and it, and it lusts and greed and... Um, Bind and all these animalistic. It's animalistic. Your mind and your body are animalistic in nature. Okay, that is where the evil is. That that is an expression of the evil. That is not an expression of God, the Most High God. God is awesome, righteous, loving, holy, perfect. Okay, and you don't like any of those words. What all of that means is God is only good. God is not evil. Okay, so he came here as Jesus to show the example of is not evil and to show it and prove it and to let everybody know how much he loves them and that this is in this earth is a fallen less than perfect condition right but he promises a new one that doesn't have that anymore but you have to be willing to accept it i done a video i don't know not too long ago about having spiritual lice okay it's the evil in you that are all the things i'm talking about the the nature that we have that we're born with that's the less than perfect the animalistic condition you have to acknowledge that that's what it is and get rid of it you have to accept the new spirit be born again and you can't you can't go on to the next level to where it's it's perfect and only good if you refuse to acknowledge the evil that's within us and get rid of it okay the evil that's within us is like a parasite it's a parasitical infection the example i used was lice i called it spiritual lice so if you find out that you have lice you're not going to keep it right you're going to get rid of it you're not going to uh, just let it live off of you. It's disgusting and gross and all of those things. So it's the same thing with the evil, the anti-love that we, if you don't like the word evil, anti-love, anything that goes against love, anything that's not loving that's in us, the selfishness and greedy and all of these things that's in us, it's not right. It's not right to be that way because you can't, the, the correct way to be is to love 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 God above everything else and love other people as yourself okay if you love God love love above everything else love other people as yourself then that is literally the solution to every problem that is going to be the only way that a new kingdom a perfect kingdom can function everybody is serving each other and if you don't if you if you can't uh, if you can't do that well, you, you have to be born again, and the, the Spirit of Jesus Christ can do that because he did do that. So that's what we're here to do. So right now, it's your option to choose love or anti-love. And if you want love, then you heard all the things that I just said. You don't have to do it on your own. You're not alone. And you just choose that, yeah, I see. I see how awesome that would be and how good that could be. And uh, it says the goodness of God leads to repentance. So... Once you see how good God is and he's only good and you start to recognize that we're in this fallen less than perfect condition and that we're literally like we have lots of animalistic tendencies in, th in things and God isn't like that. He's, he made us in his image too. So we know what love is. If you know love, then you know God. So God is only love. So it's if we didn't have the anti-love in us. But we do have the love in us. So if you know love, then you know God. You know what he's like. And once you understand that, that the goodness of God leads you to repent of, to change your mind about yourself, about yourself and your direction of life and where things are going and all of these things that are in this world. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, 
you really, really, once you understand that God is only good and it's only in earth, in this fallen, less than perfect format that has all this evil stuff and bad stuff, but God isn't like that, then you realize that it's literally the evil stuff is satanic and anti-love and evil. And you realize that we're totally surrounded by it. Like all of our systems that are set up and our, our food, air, and our water have all been contaminated and all of these different things that are going on. And you understand that God's not like that. God did not let this happen. Okay, There is an enemy who knew the rules, the spiritual laws of reality way better than any human does. Okay, So a little uh, temper tantrum, little brat who's got the whole rule book for reality got mad throwing a temper tantrum and is causing all of the problems that you see. Our, um, our battle isn't against flesh and blood. It's against powers and principalities. So it's against powers and things that we can't see. And if you don't believe in anything like that, how does your cell phone work? Do you, you pick up your cell phone and you make a phone call and you call your mom and then your mom answers and then your mom's there or you get your phone out and you look for red shoes or blue blue dresses or whatever and then it pops up right on the screen it's like you didn't plug that into the wall right you didn't have a line with this information going and all this that and the other how do you so you believe in internet right but you don't believe in powers and principalities that you can't see so that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense when you really think about it especially considering when dogs they can see or uh, I think it's spiders see in infrared uh, the elephants communicate in grumbles it's it's um, like vibrations and in the frequencies that humans can't see we can't see we can't hear it but it doesn't mean that it's not happening so just because you can't see or hear it or or sense it with your five senses doesn't mean that it's not real so don't uh just toss that out because it sounds woo woo or whatever so if you ever have looked into nikola nikolai tesla's technology it's all frequency based okay the nature of reality we're in a light it's light in frequency reality that we're in so um Many times they tell you, if someone tells you something and you believe it because it's in our nature to do that, it's in human nature to believe when someone in a perceived position of authority, such as a teacher, tells you something, it's in your nature to believe that and to accept it as true. And then as soon as you take something and you accept it as true, you start to base your belief system off of the bits of information that you have that you believe to be true. So many people, they have cognitive dissonance when they listen to anything in relation to the Most High God because by accepting and acknowledging the Most High God and understanding that God is only good, uh, it causes a lot of cognitive dissonance because it goes against many things that all of society has been trying to cram down your throat and into your mind. It is a form of mind control. It's war. It's uh, warfare, actually, to try and manipulate the way somebody thinks and feels and acts. Because how you think is how you act. And so, if you think that you're not important, then you act like you're not important. And people can manipulate you like a little puppet. And that's much of what is going on. So, um, who the sun sets free is free indeed. That's who. The spirit of Jesus Christ sets free, who tells you all of this stuff, who shows you all of this stuff, and you understand that your mind and your body has had you in a form of bondage. Okay, it's got you controlled. At minimum, it's just your mind and your body. So you need to start with your mind and your body, dealing with that, putting it in its place. You can ask the Most High God for help will help you with the Holy Spirit, will help you with the new spirit of Jesus Christ. And then your mind and your body will get behind the new spirit and they will do as the spirit does. Right now, we have a, a type of spiritual death. So we're all alive and around and, and moving and everything, but we do not have a spirit naturally of righteousness. Okay, so that's what we absolutely need to get so that our mind and our body can be put in its place 
and it stops running us into the ground. And um, that's the first step in things we have to deal with. Then we can worry about the powers and principalities. But all of those things are the first things that you need to deal with. And so with that, much love and many thanks and I love you. Thank you.